Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com and in this tutorial we're going to look at drawing text and the reason for that is I want to work towards having different game states where the game can be won or lost or ready or playing and if the game's lost, let's say, we can draw some text on the screen saying you lost and of course you can use draw you can draw text for showing a score on the screen uh, if you like um, there are lots of things you can do with it or just messages during the game but here I'm going to use it to draw just a screen that says you've won or you've lost or whatever so I'm in game.java and I'm going to rename this public void draw to public void draw game and I'm going to create another public void draw and I'm just going to use this to demonstrate drawing text and I'll create a public void draw text and I'm just going to pass this a string which will be some text to draw and I'm only going to draw text in the center of the screen so let's say to test it draw text tap screen to start and we'll, we'll try to draw that text just in the center of the screen. And to do this, I can use a method called, well, I need a method of the canvas. So in fact, let's, let's take this canvas locking stuff from, um, yeah, in fact, what I'll do is I'll just reorganize this a little, a little bit slightly. And if I just copy this, uh, copy the insides of what was draw. Let's just put it back in draw for a second. What I'd like to do is in, in here in the middle in the bit where the canvas is actually locked then I'll call different methods as appropriate. So I'm just going to cut the center out of that. So we've just got the canvas locking in draw and I might call draw text for the moment and draw text I'll make that take a canvas canvas and string text. So to draw text, I'll pass the canvas, which is locked, and some text saying tap screen to start. And then I'm going to also have a public void. Oh, yeah, I've got a public void draw game, and I'm going to take the canvas locking stuff out of that. And let's get rid of all that. And we'll pass that a canvas to draw on canvas so it can draw on that canvas. So what we've got now is I've got the draw method. So we, ha we have a draw method before that's been called by game runner at regular intervals. And the draw method now it just locks the canvas. And at the moment it then calls draw text and it passes a canvas to draw text with some text to draw and we haven't implemented that yet but what it could also do instead is it could call draw game and draw game now takes a canvas and that actually draws the game so we've got two draw methods one for the game and one for drawing text and we've got a third kind of overall draw method that can call whichever kind of sub draw method is necessary and, and this kind of method that's just called draw that now locks the canvas. Okay, so in draw text, which is what I really want to show you in this tutorial, having done that re reorganization, I can draw stuff by saying canvas.draw text. And that takes um, that takes some text to draw. So we pass in the text that we're passing to draw text. And X and Y position, and I'm going to make this uh, screen I think we've got screen width haven't we let's go to the top and take a look in game I've got I've got width and height but I don't actually store them anywhere in game at the moment so let's do that so I pass to the constructor in game the screen width and the screen height but I'm not then storing them so oh yeah we can get that information from the canvas let's do that so when I draw the text, I'm going to say here canvas.get get width over 2 and for y canvas.get height 
over 2. So we're drawing it in the middle of the canvas. And now I need to supply a paint that specifies how this text should be drawn. So I'm going to declare a paint object here. Paint, paint equals new paint. And uh, for efficiency, I could actually, I could actually uh, make this a member variable up here. It's probably a good idea. In fact, let's do that. So I'll take it out of draw text, and let's have a private paint. And I'll, actually, I'll call this text paint. And then in the constructor, let's say text paint equals new paint. And this is the paint that we'll use to paint the text with. In other words, it specifies how the text should look. So I'm going to set some things on this. Let's make sure that we're passing it now. So when I call canvas.drawText, I want to pass it this text paint, which I'm now going to define. So canvas.drawText, it just takes the text to draw, the position to draw it at, and this paint object. And I'll this paint object, I'll say text paint dot set text align, and I'll set that to align dot center to align the center of the text to the position that I say I should paint it at. So it's going to be directly in the center of the screen as opposed to, for example, aligning the left hand side of the text with the center of the screen, which wouldn't look good. Let's say text paint dot set anti-alias. I'm not sure if that's uh, on by default or not, but it won't hurt to set that to true. Uh, Anti-aliasing makes things smooth, basically. And text paint dot set. what else do we need? Uh, how about colour, which I could set to colour dot blue, maybe. And text paint dot set. and I'm just using control space to look at the different possibilities. And I, I'm not sure if there's anything else that I really need. Well, actually, how about um, set text size? That's an important one. And I don't know what size to set. I'll try 26. And text paint dot set text. Well, set typeface. That could be a good one. And set type face dot. And I just want to set maybe default bold, and we'll see how that looks. Okay, so I think that should work. Let's run that. And if this works, we're going to see a message in the middle of the screen. It's just going to say tap screen to start. And then we can go ahead and implement some game states. So the game has a notion of when it's running and when it's been lost and all that kind of thing. Okay, so here we go, and um, uh, there's one little thing I forgot, which is I forgot that I want to make the screen white um, and not black. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna fix that just by having canvas dot draw color, and I'm gonna make sure that I put that. Um, I could even just take it out of here and put it in draw, so that regardless of what we draw, we'll first clear the screen, um, and that will look nicer. And apart from that, it's, it's actually pretty much fine. And it looks bad because the screencast stretches it to one and a half times normal size. But on my phone, it looks really nice and smooth. So I might make it a bit smaller uh, with the font size. But other than that, that's pretty good. So that's it for this tutorial. And until next time, happy coding.